All right, welcome to the video. My name is Brock Page, and I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. I also sell my personal bets on BrockPage.com. I have packages on that website starting at just $1.99. And if you want to access my $1.99 daily best play, the link for that bet is in the description section below. But uh, I'm so excited. Can't even get the words out. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and dive into some Thursday NBA content here. I'm going to work backwards. We're actually going to start off with that Grizzlies Warriors game. It's game six, 10 o'clock Eastern tip off. Golden State's up three to two in this series. They're also laying eight and a half points in game six. Totals 219 and a hook. Now, uh, even though they're laying nearly double digits, this is a team who does not cover the point spread well. They're just one and four against the number in this very series. And they failed to cover in six out of their last seven ball games when laying the points. Now, when it comes to head-to-head -head meetings between these two squads, really uh, not much changing there. Uh, Golden State 2-8 and eight against the number in their last 10 against Memphis. And believe it or not, Golden State averaged only 108 points per contest in those head-to-head -head meetings. So uh, certainly struggling a little bit on the offensive end of the court. Now, guys, on the other side of things with Memphis, I've said this before in videos. I don't think many people agree with me, but I think that Memphis looks better as a team without job. I know that's sacrilege. People think I'm nuts. It's it's terrible. But I just think they play better team basketball without Ja. You saw that in game five where they just absolutely obliterated Golden State. And I don't think the Warriors laid an egg in that one. You know, when you got a clinching game, uh, a team as experienced as Golden State, they're trying to bury it. They're trying to stick the dagger in you. I just think Memphis, it's a different dynamic. They look better without Ja. That's, that's an unpopular opinion, especially considering, one, everybody loves Ja, and two, he's becoming a, a face of the NBA. But uh, Memphis, guys, they're leading the NBA in scoring per contest. Uh, now, guys, just keep in mind, Ja missed a good amount of games uh, in the regular season as well. So uh, that you know particular stat isn't exclusively contingent on Ja being in the lineup. Uh, another thing, too, is Memphis leads the NBA in offensive rebounding as well. So pretty good chance here they're going to uh, win that battle on the offensive end of the court. Now, Desmond Bain, this guy has been absolutely dangerous from three land. He's drilling over 48% of his shots from beyond the arc in the playoffs. He's also averaging 18 points a game in the postseason as well. And, of course, Jaron Jackson and Dylan Brooks, they're averaging over 13 points a game, respectively, uh, in the postseason as well. So pretty good production out of those guys. Now, when it comes to the total in this one, uh, six out of these teams' last 10 head-to-head -head meetings did get over the posted total. Uh, Memphis is actually 25-21 and 21 to the over in their road games this year. Meanwhile, Golden State, Pretty good defensive team, but we've seen a good amount of overs recently out of them. Uh, the Warriors are 70% to the over in their last 10 outings themselves. I think Memphis should be able to keep this one close. I don't think they're going to get blown out. May not win the game, uh, but I think they can keep it, you know, respectfully within double digits. I'm going to lean toward the Grizzlies plus eight and a half, keeping that one close. And the over 219 and a hook. And with that, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup for the video, it is going to be Celtics taking on the Bucks game six. And that's going to be in uh, 7.30 Eastern start time. Now, Milwaukee's up three games to two in the series. They're also the one and a half point favorite at home with a total of 211 and a half. Now, when it comes to the number in this one, games four and five both got over the posted total. And when it comes to head-to-head -head meetings, uh, We've actually seen six out of these teams' last 10 head-to-head -head contests get over the total as well. Now, Boston's also 24-21 and 21 to the over when traveling this year, so a pretty good amount of overs there for, uh, for the Celtics. 
Now, when it comes to selecting a winner in this one, this game's being featured as my NBA tier package bet on BrockPage.com. So if you want to see whether I like the Bucks to uh, clinch this one and move on, or if I like Boston uh, to get the job done and move this one into uh, Game 7, there's only one way to find out, and that is to sign up for my NBA tier package bet on BrockPage.com. The link for that bet is in the description section below. And guys, a couple things to, uh, to remember with regard to that NBA tier package bet. If you do sign up for that package here today, you're going to get access to that membership every single day all the way through the end of May. And as an added bonus, you're actually going to get full access to all the cheaper memberships that I offer on that website every single day all the way through the end of May as well. All those cheaper memberships are included with your purchase. But as far as making a free pick is concerned with this ball game, I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the over to 11 and a half in that contest. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on brockpage.com. Now, guys, real quick, if you want to get access to every single bet, every single membership that I offer on that website, you may want to think about signing up for my board member tier. Uh, it's an all-inclusive membership. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Thursday or Friday to you, depending on when you're watching this. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at brockpage.com.